afternoon from a place that has intrigued me for quite some time. Because you know, living in Berlin and using the S-Bahn, you always see the direction S-Bahn uh, towards uh, Hono, towards Erkner, towards Königs Wusterhausen. And I just uh, never been to one of these places and I heard it's like uh, one of the places, like all these places, not one of the places, all these places are like the let's say, bedroom neighborhoods of the blue-collar workers, generally. Because they commute from the outskirts of Berlin towards the city center. Usually them, but also a lot of people who are not blue-collar workers. Anyway, I am in Erkner at the moment, and uh, it's like a very cloudy and it started to rain kind of day. And Erkner, it's uh, not that bad to be fair. I'm near the train station as you can see behind me over there and uh, Erkner around the train station looks like this so basically this is the Deutsche Bahn train station for Erkner and this is the S-Bahn over there that's the S-Bahn <coughs> so it looks around the station old Erkner and as you can see there is a bus stop over there But I'm interested how in how this town looks, basically. So, of course, we're in Germany and there's a lot of, uh, let's say, directions posted by the city council everywhere. So, let's see this one. Apparently, the city center is about 750 meters away, that way. So yeah, it's kind of raining, but let's see what I can do here in all Erector. Erkner is not bad. Like, look at this. A lot of good residential buildings so far. And of course, you have an Aldi, you have an Edeka, so far where I saw. You have good parks. And a lot of good apartment buildings. Really good, really nice looking. It's raining cats and dogs here in Erkner today. Let's see if I can cross here without getting flattened by anything. Do I think I can? And yeah. So this is Erkner basically. This whole thing is Erkner. And you have a, a lake somewhere, it's called Dameritsee. Okay, nice. And of course, if you cannot, uh, let's say you cannot find your bearings, there's some bearings for you. For example, you have 1,472 kilometers to Rome. So in case you want to go to Rome, it's close by. Uh -huh. And Paris, one, only 1,000 kilometers to Paris. That's pretty nice, isn't it? And this is the library, Stadtbibliothek, central library for you here. <coughs> yeah. So apparently this is the city center. Or maybe it's just around the corner. Like the buildings are refurbished, look at this, they're well maintained, the old buildings well maintained, there are new structures, lots and lots of residential buildings, which is not a surprise because, first of all, a lot of people commute from here to central Berlin, to war, of course. And the connection to here is quite good. It's really like okay, it's around 40 minutes, 45 minutes from central Berlin by S-Bahn, S Dry, but but look at this. Look at this, look at this nice park. Let's see the park a little bit, isn't it?
that's the Central Park of Erkner. It's not bad, really, it's not bad at all. Really nice. Very nice. Here in this park, I'm close to Damerze. And yeah, the quality of the picture is not going to be very good because everything is wet. There you go. This is Damerze, apparently, it's called. A few yachts. Okay. Very, very nice. We're not very far from Kopenik, of course. And it's uh, similar, the landscape is very similar to Kopenik. Look at this. Lovely Erkner. And yeah, apparently I'm in Erkner city center because behind me we have city center Erkner, which is their mall, the local mall. They have a local mall. What kind of thing? Who could expect this in Erkner? I didn't. So local mall in Erkner looks. And yeah, they have a lot of things like barber shops, travel agencies, even a Rossman over there. Which is like a some kind of like a house appliances store, kinda. Kinda. Slash pharmacy. And residences. And a cinema. How interesting, isn't it? But the weather is atrocious, really atrocious. It's like raining, it's pouring, it's like the monsoon. It's like the Berlin monsoon over here. Right. How lovely. So I gotta find cover basically, but from Erkner, I tell you to subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell, so you get notified whenever I'm posting something. And yeah, so far so good. So what? Bye bye.